esoteric spirituality that I've ever heard about, or anybody I've talked to about has said the same thing, that energy follows the breath. That breath is an amazing thing because you don't have to think to breathe, you just do it. However, when you apply consciousness to breath, you can modulate it. You can slow it down, you can speed it up. So it's one of those sort of gray areas. Is it unconscious or is it conscious? Now, the fascinating thing about breath is that the flow of energy, the reception and release of energy, follows the breath. So as you breathe in, imagine that not just oxygen is flowing in to the body through the nose or mouth, but energy is flowing in as well. And as you breathe out, have a sensation that it's not just you know, carbon dioxide is being expelled, but any kind of toxic energy, any heaviness, any contraction of mind, any contraction of emotion, any contracted physical sensation. On the out breath, just release that heavy energy that's not moving in your body and release it to the Mother Earth. To her, it's just energy. She knows how to transform it. In your body, it's a problem. Energy that doesn't move in the body. The people in the Andes call it hucha. And they say it creates all of the symptoms of suffering that we're familiar with. It's a purely energetic process. So just begin to get a sense of this, this inspiration and exhalation. When you breathe in, energy flows in. And when you breathe out, you can release toxicity. You can direct the flow of energy outside yourself as well. And it's a very subtle sense, because you're aware of the flow of oxygen. You can feel the air moving in, moving out. But there's something greater than that as well. In the subtle sense of energy flowing in. That energy being released, generally in a heavier form. So when you have a sense of that, at least enough of a handle to begin to use this principle that energy follows breath, I'll talk you through real briefly how to do this pattern, and then we'll cut loose so you can go outside and just do it privately about a 10 minute period of time. What you'll do is you'll imagine some difficulty in life, you know, something that's still contraction. It could be a memory, it could be a fear from the future, any of those things that maybe you explored with this sense of self-destruction. Let one of those come up and begin to feel the contraction of it that it still generates when you kind of associate into it. And then when you felt that, dissociate, step out and put it at a distance. You can imagine it on a timeline. If it's in the past, see it on a timeline in the past, or see yourself in this situation in a timeline in the past. Or if it's in the near present, see your know, present moment, if it's in the future, see yourself in the future, whatever this particular instance of suffering is. And then you're going to work energetically with this representation, pure energy. And the way that you do this is, it's a two-part breath. On one breath, the first one, you have a, a sensation of drawing in energy from beyond the stars. Pure life force. You know, free-flowing life energy. You breathe that in to the body, and then you exhale that energy into the suffering self on the timeline. The you that's in this collapsed state. You breathe life force into it. That's one cycle of breath. And on the very next cycle of breath, you draw the heavy energy that's stuck inside that you in the timeline, the younger or older you. You literally inhale that, draw it in, and then you exhale it to the core of the Mother Earth you blow it all out of your body. All that heaviness goes down to the Mother Earth because
because she knows how to deal with it. And then on the next in-breath, you draw in light from beyond the stars, life force, vibrant, vital life force, and you blow that into the body of the you and the timeline that's suffering. You begin to fill that body with light. And then on the next in-breath, you draw in the heaviness that still may be in that body over there and exhale that to the Mother Earth. So you draw in the life force and give it to the younger or older self. On the exhale. And then on the next inhale, you pull the heavy energy from that younger self or older self and you release it, let it go to the Mother Earth. There's two separate cycles of the breath. One charges or lightens up the you in the timeline. The other releases the heaviness of the you on the timeline. Both of them involve one inhalation, one exhalation. One fills with light, one inhales heavy energy and releases it to Mother Earth. And it's simply a cycle that you continue in until you experience energetically that memory or anticipated future changes. There may be changes in context, other changes in submodalities, anything could change. But you'll know when it's complete. You'll know when that view of the timeline has a sense of connection, being infilled with light, and when there's no remaining heavy energy there. All right, so you got the idea, yeah? All right, so let's take, uh, let's take about eight minutes. And I would recommend you do this outside. There's some nice shade out there. You know, little assistance from the wind is blowing. And that was one final problem in transforming energy into breath.